which could happen. He has a pretty good lane matchup, but I'm I'm yeah. feeling I'm feeling call here. Uh, I had so before I uh, the series two one for Vici. I think that's still going to be the case. I think Complexity's going to take this game. I like their draft a lot more as well. All right, I'm going to go in the Vici camp. Also, I'm going to side with Purge, but we'll Vici see what happens. That said, we've got two casters to take it away, and this time it's Suns fan and Brax for game number two. Thank you, Zayori. Suns fan here filling in for Mott Brax. How's it going, buddy? I miss Mott. I know. I'm so sorry for this. So we have a split panel. Vici versus Complexity. This, of course, if Complexity loses this game, they are out of the tournament. And this series is huge. It is. Single elimination, eight team single elimination bracket. That means one game, one series win, you get points. It feels like lose, seeding matters so much more yes. in single elimination. For sure. Whose lineup do you like more this time? I like VG Gaming's lineup. Why? Just because I think they have a uh, laning advantage. That's it. In what way? So the uh, Bloodseeker is really good against Darkseer in lane. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, sustain through the Ion Shells, of course. There's the Monkey King that you can get paired up with to deal with him that way because he has to Blood Rage himself, right? Or he has to Blood Rage the Creep, which is probably what he'll do. So he doesn't have uh, any chance of dying, these two heroes. You don't think he'd have a chance of dying with, with Monkey King in the lane? No, not a level one. What if you get Jingu Mastery level one? Oh. And Orb of Venom. Wow. You think that would be a good strat? No. He's really? just going to get clicked by the other uh, hero in lane. We'll see. We'll see who's right. Analyst. Orion Company going to be taking this bounty room top. In fact, they're going to get the... Is this going to be a split? It's the old-fashioned split, I believe. So Young Eleven on the Sand King this time around. Ori, Medusa. Now, if you go for late game this time around, it, mm -hmm. do you have a different answer than, than last time? Um, as far as who has a better late game. I don't know how good Ursa is going to be in this game. It's hard to say because uh, there's a lot to deal with, right? With Ursa, you can get ruptured, then you're kind of stuck there. In the team fight, there's also he's super single target based. So you're mm -hmm. fighting into a shallow grave. Medusa's already super tanky as well. And when you have a tanky hero like that, she can just stand in the front, and then it becomes really hard for Ursa to find the angles on these oh, other heroes. Lanham again playing that Brewmaster, <laughs> position yeah. four. Uh, quite effective last time around. We talked about how Primal split. Once you get it, you're kind of like the old panda. You don't you don't have to rely on it as much though, which is a huge benefit because it's such a. That's true. It's typically that just that spell like once it's down. All right, now we push. Now when we he's in a damage. core position, it feels like lineups are dependent on it, right? Exactly. But it's kind of an extra. Yeah. So. If you find a way to counter, that's nice. But again, yeah. it's just your position four, so you don't want to spend too many resources doing so. Exactly. Oh. Well, so Dazzle, Sand King versus Rasta and Ursa. And of course, Young Eleven with that early level of Caustic Finale going to be annoying the crap out of Chessie. How do you expect that lane to go? Definitely in favor of VG. It's super hard for Ursa to harass melee heroes into a creep wave with Dazzle nearby, unless, of course, you can get the wrap around like this. He's level 2 now. They're both level 1 still. Yeah, he's got the... He's pinging the creep to get shot. level 2. Indeed. There it is. He's going to right-click Young Eleven. There's a the Burrow Strike on top of him, though. Trying to take advantage of that caustic finale. There's a, a very early shallow grave, in fact. Kyle, Kyle he's, he's definitely committing. He's a level one of Ether Shock. That might be enough. Oh, one more right click will do it. No, it's going to be close. Oh, and it looks God. like Kyle will fall the Pearl Strike on top. And oh. Vici Gaming somehow turned that around. And Young Eleven, I have no idea how he lived, but that that was a close call for sure. So close. It's one of those things that can go either way, honestly. Well, there we go. All right, Young Eleven. He's going to get healed again. Pearl Strike on top. The Monkey King. Not doing enough damage. Of course, only level two right now. Fenrir TP's away, Kyle. Unable to get it. Not able to get vision for that shackle, unfortunately for him. Bottom lane in the meantime, Paparazzi getting chased by Moo with that Ion Shell. We have some TP support coming in the form of Brewmaster. And Moo. He's hasted, okay. Yeah, he's hasted. He's going to take a lot There's of right no clicks. no clap, though. He's got the, uh, the haze. Oh, you're right. Haze and the passive. Very early levels here. That actually sounds really annoying to deal with, just hazing a lane as a support hero. Oh, we have Balance Strike into the Shackle. One more right click should do it. And the Complexity is now on the board. Two to one advantage for Vici. It's really important for Complexity to stabilize their safe lane. Otherwise, once Sand King gets a bit of levels, it's going to be too difficult for Shadow Shaman to stay there. And then he'll probably have no place on the map to get experience in gold. So very, very important to get that kill. Z Freak is going to be running around on that Monkey King. When that hero first came out, he played quite a bit of it. And... That was when position four Monkey King was very standard. Yep. And very OP. Oh yeah, that's when the Primal Spring didn't make that noise every time you cast oh, yes. it. That's, that, is that the biggest nerf you got? It might be, no, actually. He, the scaling mod got changed a lot as well. Oh, that too. Well, I think every skill got nerfed, technically. 
Yeah. Can't, you can't bash in the ult anymore. Of course, his talents are pretty freaking good for jumping on trees, though, if you want to go for that. Or you could go the damage route. There's an interesting talent sheet, to be sure. Is he free? Oh, looks like Kyle's gonna get Shackle off. Shallow Grave's still available. Young 11 Burrow strikes to safety, so this has turned into a try v try for now. But Young 11 is gonna be fine. This looks like a pretty hard try lane for uh, Complexity to deal with. Like, the level of commitment they need to kill the Sand King is just... I don't think they can put it out. They always have to fight through the heal, the grave as well, and then it's just a little much damage to, to soak up. Let's talk about Medusa versus PL. Because on paper, you look, PL was picked first, and then he picked Medusa into it. Mm -hmm. And they kind of work against each like they counter each other to some degree. You got, sure. you got PL with the mana drain once yep, you get that the, Diffusal the blade. blade. Of course, Medusa, Stone Gaze, destroys Illusions very quickly. Yep. And you also um, have the uh, AoE from Split Shot, and the Snake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Talk about the, the interaction with Mystic Snake on Illusion. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, the, uh, you, mana, or you steal mana from each illusion, so you pretty much replenish your mana bar. Yeah, so it's, it's super, super tanky, but at the same time, he does more damage to Medusa because of all the uh, mana burning. Oh, we're going to have a jump in here from Z Freak. It's not going to be enough to actually get the kill on Paparazzi, but he's very low. In the meantime, top lane, we have a shackle on the Young 11. Burrow Strike oh, will miss. Kyle dodging it. Two for... Or 2v3 right now in this top they lane. They just can't Chessie. stick on any targets, though. The, uh, the haze counters at Ursa so hard. Yeah. I mean, Ursa in general just feels like this very one-dimensional hero. You have the right heroes to actually work against. I wasn't so sold on the play. Ursa pick, right? You yeah. have the, uh, the Brewmaster Haze in the early game, Shallow Grave, and then even Rupture later on in team fights, so you can't move around. Yeah, but they, they did need some burst damage uh, of some kind. It's true. It also gives them the, uh, the Roshan factor, too. Exactly. That is very true. It does have right some now. good things. In the mid lane, 21 and 5 versus the 25 and 9. So relatively even, all things considered. Uh, with, who would you favor in the early game? Like, are you surprised by the CS discrepancy at all? No, I, I think it's pretty normal. I think that uh, PL has some kill potential on Medusa with uh, gank rotations and that kind of thing. But if it doesn't happen, Medusa starts to pull ahead with some level. All right. Lanham coming in, getting his mana pot. This right here is the big lane that complexity should feel like they want to play around, right? You have the uh, Darkseer Iron Shell with another melee hero, but it's still not an easy hero to kill at all. He's always full HP. Yeah, I mean, especially once that Blood Rage got to level two, then it, it, it's very difficult to kill him. And the fact that he yep. has a two level advantage right now in that bot lane is pretty ginormous. Yep. And with that Rupture online, the question is, will he just stick to farming or do you want to actually use Rupture in another lane? I think that um, VG just want to play around this top lane for now. And then Bloodseeker may make some rotations if people start to, you know, TP in there. But he doesn't want to really be, and he's just going to wait for people to come to him, probably. Yeah, we have a Shackle now onto the Sand King. Chessy, he's dealing a lot of damage, but doesn't with seem knowing like a the Shallow damage. Grave is is available, deters him from being very aggressive. Burrow Strike now being applied, trying to save his teammate East Chessy. It's not going to happen. There's a Shallow Grave onto Young Eleven. He's continuing the right clicks. He might actually go down here. Nope. Pops the wand and will live through it and get another kill. So two for nothing, Avicii Gaming off to a great start in this game. Yep, 11 building for the uh, lane as well, goes for the treads instead of any other, you know, like a initiator style of build where he just rushes the blink, so it's good. So what can Complexity do to get uh, Ursa back in this game? So you talk about the, the Roshan, it's a little bit early for that. I mean, yeah. technically you can do it, but it's going to take a We're while. We're talking about the Roshan at seven minutes in the game, it's not good. <laughs> So, do you put him in another lane, perhaps? I mean, bottom lane's not going to do so well against Bloodseeker, I would assume, and then... The thing is, nobody can really lane yeah. in that lane, so... Yeah, it's a tough, tough it's laning pretty proposition. Weird. And we're going to have a jump in here from Z-Freak onto Ori and Lan M, dealing decent amount of damage. But it's just harassment at the end of the day, as Ori is now level 7. It's not skilled at Stone Gaze as of... What level do you actually pick that up, normally? It's situational. It just depends. Once you feel like you're tanky enough, or... You know, sometimes you can put more points in the split shot so you can keep farming. Mm. It's hard for Complexity to leave this lane just because of the control VG have over it. If they leave, their tower is going to be getting hit all the time. And then at the same time, they um, they want to use the Starks here, right? You want to run to this guy's lane, just pressure the Bloodseeker, but there's such a big level difference at the right. moment that it's, it's hard to do. And it probably requires three heroes. Monkey King's not enough. You need, like, Monkey King plus Rasta or plus a core hero, but even mid lane just gets pushed in all the time. Uh, all these lanes are under heavy pressure, making it super difficult for them to move to one another. Yeah, I mean, look at the, the CS discrepancy. The top three right now are on Vici yep. in each respective lane. We're talking about a Sand King against an Ursa. Of course, it's not as simple as that because of the dual lane and tri lane dynamic, but at the end of the day, still more CS for everybody on Vici Gaming at the current point in time. When I see Ursa, I think a hero that uh, dominates lanes. 
And that's just not happening. Well. Chess is getting chased. He's getting an Earthshock off. Fenrir trying to do as much damage as he can. We do have TP support. Fenrir's going to have to Shallow Grave himself. A lot of damage being applied to Chess. He will pop to that Caustic Finale. Young Eleven, though, might cost him his life as a result. We'll see if Complexity can clean up. There's a Burrow Strike into the TP. Looks like it'll be successful. And then meanwhile, Kyle Complexity getting so chased. Fast. And yeah. That is a lot of damage. That's a three for nothing across the map, and Vici again getting every to, trade they want. They managed to kill Darkster as well. It's a disaster in every lane. Like, Complexity need to... It, it's so hard to pick and choose one lane to just go for, because at the same time, you're going to have to sack both your exactly. lanes to be able to make that kind of a play. And it's like, they just probably feel like they can't do anything at all. And Ori working towards that Mask of Madness right now. Very, I mean, 4K lead at, at nine minutes is... That's quite high. It is high. That's quite high. But if they can sneak in a Ro I was going to say sneak in Ursa. Well, you can sneak in Ursa into Roche, I suppose. Yeah. But at what level would that be possible? He doesn't even have the, uh, the skill build for it, though, right? He's got two levels oh, that's of clap, true. So. Yeah, he had to go to clap. Oh, we're going to have a some action have his here in the mid on. lane. Or he's taking so much damage to be able to clean him up. So Complexity get a very much needed kill. Lanham only level four, but is able to scurry his way to safety. Kyle, he is level 5 on the, the Shadow Shaman, so once he hits level 6, should be able to get a nice influx of gold with some tier 1 towers, perhaps. Yep, that was a much needed kill. The net worths on the side of um, DG are super, super high in comparison to uh, complexity, right? Like, they need any kill they can get, and even though they have to dedicate so many heroes for it, it's totally worth it. Mm -hmm. well, Moon now to bot lane, level 6. And his farm, it's okay considering how this game is going, but not, not the typical farming game you'll see from him, especially on this hero. As we're gonna have some action, Kyle's level six, the nice shackle, that looks so funny. very long range. Chessy's gonna pound into this Bloodseeker. There are the wards being placed as well. The so blood right does connect, but to no avail. Meanwhile, top lane, Limp taking some damage from the epicenter, but it's a wasted ult at the end of the day. Young Eleven getting initiated, a lot of damage as well. Shallow Grave is available, though. They're going to turn this around onto Z-Freak. The last right click from Fenrir is there. Young Eleven looks like he will finally go down in this one-for-one -one trade of the top lane. That's still very worth it for complexity, yeah, and though. Fenrir with no mana whatsoever. He's limp. Biding his time, though. Being a little bit hesitant. Maybe a little bit scared of TP support from Beachy Gaming. Yep, with only one more Lance, he wouldn't be able to actually kill him. So. I mean, we're talking in literally the last minute. We have a 2k... Yeah, cut into that they're lead. closing Only the down gap. 2K now. And look at this. Oh, Kyle. Gonna get initiated by Lanham's Thunderclap. Ori's coming in. Kyle attempting to TP out. It's gonna be close, but the last auto attack from Paparazzi is there. He is level 10. And this is a tier 1 tower for Vici. You know, even though Vici had a massive gold lead from the lanes, they didn't actually take any towers until now, which is very, very surprising. Typically, the big net worth is because of towers. That's true. Not this game. It was it's mostly just CS farm. and yeah, a few yeah. extra kills on top of it. They won all three lanes and had a really large CS advantage, but no towers means Complexity can still play the game. Well, Complexity right now, only down 2k, and Moo making his way towards this bot lane right now. His young 11 has transferred himself up to here. So what's going big for Helm? coming out? We have the uh, Rasta wards thrown down bottom and help them secure a tower and a kill, which is very nice. It's their biggest timing that they yeah, can that was kind of a now. double whammy down there. They have the two for one special. <laughs> Burger King. Why did I say Burger King? It's the worst. Zeke getting close there. Paparazzi. He's gonna get the blood right off into the rupture. It's gonna connect. He sees the tree. Does he have a calling blade? One? He doesn't. He doesn't. He eats the wrong one, and Zeke will live to see also another day. Eats the wrong one. Land him. <laughs> He'll get the, the four second stun with the thunderclap. Double crits. All right. Land M. He did the math there. He knew he was going to double crit. Well, the first one's guaranteed. The second one, complete RNG. Lock is on his side. Indeed. Kyle does have Serpent Wards available, so we'll see if they position themselves for a potential tower in the mid lane. And as, meanwhile, top lane, Vici will be pressuring the tier one. Okay, they're actually trying to defend this on the side of Cole. Heroes are set up and they're coming in. Yeah, well, power's getting pretty low. There's the fortification. Here comes Z Freak. Found the strike onto one. Looks like the primal split will be pop. Paparazzi is getting quite low, but the epicenter proto strike combination dealing tons of damage and slowing heroes as Paparazzi is continuing to get chase here. Limp just needs one more Spirit Lance. It's not going to find it. It's too far away. And he's going to get turned on now. Burrow Strike into the Mystic Snake, and that is enough to take him out with ease as VG Gaming is trying to turn this around now. Moo on the run. Won't get very far, though. 
And it looks like Vici Gaming will at the very least get this tier one tower. See if they can find anybody else's chest. He teaches out to safety. And Z Freak, ooh, that was actually very close for a strike. I feel like they have no business defending towers at this point. You know, they're playing with Ross to try to set up and just split push. You know, try to trade one for one because honestly, at this point of the game, it's so difficult to take any team fights, especially five on fives, into the Brewmaster, into this tanky Sand King. It's super difficult. I, I fear for this Ursa. We have we have a, a Radiance coming online. Uh oh. Uh, well, being built, I should say, for Bloodseeker, uh, Paparazzi. Yeah. That, that, we talk about how much kiting potential they have already against the, the Ursa. Put that together with the mischance of Radiance, just the annoyance of this hero in yep. general. He can always, uh, the Brewmaster Drunken Haze is a big problem from these fights. Sure, he can enrage to take it off, but sometimes you don't want to use that right away just to dispel it. You need it for uh, tanking. Yeah. Not only tanking, but they have so many other stuns and disables of different kinds, with whether it's mischance, slows, just any kiting potential whatsoever. You use that in rage, you can just pop it again. They He's have got so, so many, many things skills. to watch out for. Exactly. I mean, is this, do you think there's any different build he can go for to kind of mitigate that in any way, or is it just not worth it? Because Ursa feels like that hero, you can't really go down that road, right? Maybe if he was go. ahead, he could afford to True. go for these items and help yeah. deal with that, but at this stage, I don't think so. Well, or he's going to take out my little ancient camp here, Plan M, level 8 on the position for Brewmaster, doing pretty well for himself. Has the, the urn intact, we will be going for a Vlad's. Actually switches it up to Blink Dagger, so and have more, even more initiation prowess for Vici this game. Yeah, I feel like if you wanted to go for the Vlad's, you could get away with it since Sand King is their primary initiator. But this way, when he gets the Blink Dagger, they can kind of set each other up. Right. They were checking out Rush, making sure that Ursa was not in there. In fact, looks like they might want to take it themselves. With this is a huge, huge get if they can do so. They don't have the highest damage for Roche, but it's pretty safe because Dazzle can keep them sustained, heal them up, and it can also haze the Roche and from this chance to keep them healthy. Yeah, I mean, just, it's not even about having the Aegis necessarily, it's about denying it to right, Ursa, because right. that hero feels like in a lot of ways just depends on... Whenever I see Ursa or uh, Drow lineups, I feel like they're super, super dependent on being able to take Roche. Right. And once you take it away from those heroes, they, they don't feel as strong. And the other Not scary thing, even if Complexity wants to try to defend this, right, you have yeah, to worry about a blood right, you have to worry about stone gaze, epicenter, you have so many spells that it's a lot so to, well in this confined area. It's a lot to walk in. And you think, oh, Dark Seer, he's pretty good at defending the Roshan pit, but. Not when he's so far behind, right? You yeah. need more levels in vacuum, you need a blink dagger to actually get in position to use your spells, and they're just not there yet. Well, Moo's getting there. Slowly but surely, only level one of vacuum at the moment. Oh, Rupture almost coming out from Paparazzi. Uh, of course, he's the one that picks up the Aegis. Has the Sacred Relic in tow, so just that recipe away. About 1,200 to go. And once he gets that, what, what does Complexity need to do? Do they need to try to shut him down before that Radiance comes online? Or, like, once he gets it, how, how do they stop this Bloodseeker? I don't so I assume like he's going to go for BKB or something like that afterwards. Yep, he's going to farm super fast once he gets the Radiance, too. And honestly, they just have to deal with, uh, you know, VG's aggression. Like, they have a chance after Roshan's taken to try to catch some of these split pushers, because once you take the Aegis, you kind of fall back, and then you spend some time pushing your lanes out so you can converge, uh, converge on an objective without losing out too much on the gold, but he's not in position, not able to find the picks. They still need time for their own heroes to come online. Oh, we have the Epicenter Burn Strike combination. Only going to connect on one, but it's a very important hero, Lynn. Doppelganger's away. Young Eleven continuing to chase, takes a Spirit Lance to the face, and he, oh my god, the Caustic Finale was actually enough. As Limp falls to the ground, Ori in the meantime taking the tower down, but he does die to Chessie. That is a huge That's kill a huge for pick. Complexity. That's exactly what they need to delay the aggression from VG. Well, VG's just going to continue to go down this mid lane as this tier 2 tower looks to be next. Is he freaked? He's jumping in onto four heroes. Not jumps right all. back up. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the benefits. Nice balance strike on the two into a wall, and Chessie's just gonna blow up that dazzle thanks to the shallow, Young thanks to the, so low. the shackle shot. Young Eleven on the run now. We've seen Paparazzi getting stuck inside the wards. Can they finish him off? Is the question. Wukong's command coming out as well. Not a whole lot of damage to speak of. It's a double kill for Chessie on the backside. Paparazzi now on the run with very low HP. Here comes Z Freak again. Not able to connect though. That might they be want him so bad. Balance strike is online again. Chessy jumps over that newly picked up blink dagger. That is the Aegis. Question is, can they get more out of this? Lan M continuing the pressure on to move. Blood right coming out. Paparazzi gets vacuumed up. A couple more right clicks should suffice, but here oh, comes Medusa's the Mystic back. Snake. Medusa, he's helping out, but it's a two for two. 
They do lose that Bloodseeker. Limp barely able to get away. But that overall, pretty good fight for Complexity. Super good. BG had Aegis and they had like a 9k gold lead at the beginning of that fight. And Complexity somehow managed to take that fight. Yeah, Medusa right now. Very scary hero. But of course, the Diffusal Blade is online now for the PL. Yes, that'll help a lot. She's scary, but she's scary when you run into her, right? When you're kind of uh, on the outskirts throwing lances in, you're surged up, running back and forth. She's not going to chase and kill you. It just won't happen. She's this immobile, you know, tanky hero that just stands in the front lines. So as long as they can maneuver around it and play around the outskirts of the fights, it gets better for them. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be going for a Boots of Travel pickup here for Limp on the PL. Do you think that's the right choice this game? He definitely needs it. It feels, it feels a little greedy. It does, but what other item is he going to get that changes how the game's being played? Nothing. Yeah, you just want to split pushes to the highest degree you can. Yep. Join in on the fights. I mean, in the past, I would have said Aghanims, but it's, I've given up on that one. It's You've bad. come back down to reality and realized that it's not good. Yeah, I wish it was. I mean, it does help you split push, but it's such a huge investment. and It is. You need every item slot on PL to be effective. It seems like one of these Aghanims that would be super, super good if it was pulled to you by Alchemist until you yes, didn't actually I waste the item slot on that. Yeah. And the talent tree for, for PL is, is pretty disgusting, actually. Yeah, it's the, good. That 30% critical strike at 25 is one of the most ridiculous things I've seen. It does a lot of damage. Wow. Yeah, critical strike. That, that's actually the problem with the PL is he kind of falls off normally. He does fall off game, the but not with that skill. He's going to be found out here. Yules is there. Looks like the Shadow Grave is going to use on Fenrir. Tressie trying to right click as much as he can on the back side. We have Wukong's command. Medusa Shackled. Shot. Yeah, Medusa is going to get destroyed by complexity. She died so fast. And they continue the chase here. The Ursa is getting controlled by the Brewmaster. He's just going to turn and destroy Fenrir in the meantime. Burrow Strike, they're trying to control that Ursa. He's getting quite low. Sandstorm is there as well. Chessie attempting to run away. Has the Enrage Papa will fall. Let's see so the Paparazzi next on the list for complexity. Huge kill after huge kill for them. They do lose the Ursa, but two ginormous cores with a lot of gold. Complexity, they're finding all the down. angles for these fights. They managed to catch up Medusa in the back on the shrine. She got walled, warded, and hit by Wukong's command and just stuck in there forever. Yeah, it's all about the control in these fights. As you hear the Complexity fans in the crowd, Z Freak finds Young Eleven. He's taking out the illusions for now. Looks like Young Eleven is working towards an Aghanim Scepter. Does not work on illusions anymore, if I'm not mistaken. It used to cast apply, Caustic, the, the or apply Caustic Finale to all yep. the illusions and just do a bazillion damage, but still an amazing Ags to have if he's able to get, get to that point. And Mu, he's working with the Helm and Hood. Looks to be finishing the pipe, and I would assume either... Probably a Blink Dagger, I would say. What do you think? At some point, yeah. I but feel I like, like they're the, just uh, missing, like they just need that extra, they, they did find a Medusa there on the backside, but a lot of that's because of positioning. Yep. But Blink Dagger really, really allows you to, to jump in and... Once he has the Blink Dagger, then uh, VG have to be super careful about how they take the fight. Yeah. If they clump up for that and uh, another stun on top of it, then he could definitely get destroyed. Radiance middle tower is under attack. So Medusa has died twice like that back to back, yeah. where it feels like she did almost nothing. You know, she's not as tanky as she'd like to be currently. Needs that uh, level 20 talent for the mana. I didn't realize Echo Saber was already online for, for Z Freak. He's, He's actually quite far well for position four. Yeah, lots of CS. Ori. He's only about a thousand away from finishing Scotty, and that is a huge item for Medusa. Tons of stats, the slow, and eventually when he hit 25, if he hits 25, you get that one talent. It's the only talent you actually care about on the hero. 25? Yeah, split shot. Uses Quite good. I mean, her other talents are pretty damn good as well, but... Yep. You were talking about the uh, interaction between Medusa and Peel, how they're both kind of good against each other. Yeah. Like you have the uh, Diffusal Blade, Mana Burn Illusions onto Medusa, which makes her a lot less tanky since she relies on mana to tank up. But um, at the same time, when Medusa gets 25, right, the uh, modifiers with something like a Mjolnir clear through them extremely quickly. Right. Even the other talent is pretty good. The uh, plus seven split shot, but probably not as good. It looks like... Ursa's going to be building in Aghanims as well. So that's a lower cooldown on Enrage. Yep. And can... What else does it do? You can use it while stunned, yes. I believe. Yes. Is that the Aghanims? Yep. Yeah. That's pretty strong. I, I assume you could just use that when you're stone gaze. So that huge counter that Medusa has against Ursa is kind of lost as a result. 
Yeah, true. So you just right click as much as you want, you turn into a stun and rage and keep right clicking. They don't have a whole lot of stuns as well, right? It's just that, the Sand King stun, so pretty easy for him to play around. Yeah, Kyle, looks like Look the, the tower goal. was denied this time around. The gold leaves brought back completely. Now we have an even game. Yes, After complexity, even on the back foot pretty much the entire game. Yeah, these last two fights for complexity have been definitely in their favor. And of course, the tower discrepancy not as bad as it used to be, mainly because of Kyle on that on that Shadow Shaman. And looking at the the items as a whole right now, interesting for Master Wind for the uh, Hand of Midas. But uh, you know, it does secure his late game that he will have these items, Blink Dagger plus whatever else afterwards. It's good. Yeah, especially for position four, you're not gonna find yep. much farm on the map. It basically ensures that if this game goes late, he will have the items he needs to go. Yep, they want to make sure that they can play this late game. And it's funny to say that when you have a Medusa on your team, but you know, it's needed. I mean, as a position four, do you change your what, what kind of build do you want to go on, <clears throat> on land? I mean, you're not gonna go for pure right click, that's for sure. Nothing like a Radiance because you already have it online. No, I think it'll be more tank. Just more utility tank. Yep, something like uh, Shiva's Guard, Vlad's, that kind of a build. Yeah. The aura does carry over when uh, he uses his ultimate. It's good. Very good. Young Eleven getting closer and closer to the Aghanim score himself as the game Look being brought the, back. Uh, even. I mean, we're just talking about this lead being cut in. No yeah. fights have happened, and looks like Complexity is just finding more efficient farm across the map right now. Yeah, they've just been taking these fights much better than VG have. They've been fighting these Ice Glitter heroes in the back, locking them down. You don't want to be Ice Glitter against Shadow Shaman at all. He just disables you forever. And um, you don't have to worry about the scaling on Complexity. I and mean, we were questioning how useful this Bursa was going to be into a lineup like VG's later on in the game, but it's been doing very well. It uh, opens up the fight for all the other heroes, and he's still super strong. And Roshan is actually online now, so if Complexity can win this next potential fight or pick off a person or two, yeah, well, Tax is going to double smoke. They're going to run into each other potentially. Well, if they can find out, it's going to be here. close. Yeah. In they want to kill Dazzle. Gaming, they go straight into the Roche pit. We'll see if Complexity can respond to this. They're going to wrap around. It looks like they're going towards that direction, but it's going to be too late. This is going to be another free Roche for Vici. Oh, man, it's like so fast. Aegis and Cheese this time. And the Aegis will go the way of Paparazzi. I assume the Cheese on Medusa, one of the best heroes in the game to pick that bad boy up on. And Cole had the right idea, just the timing for it was a bit off. Yeah. Unfortunate for them, so... Does this mean they're going to have to play a little bit more passive while we while they wait for the Aegis? Or we've been seeing they, a lot of aggression after yes, the Roshan. I think they the still game. need to play aggressive. If they, you know, back up and just sacrifice everything and give it all to VG, then they're just going to lose eventually by getting outfarmed. They need to still make aggressive plays and try to catch these heroes off guard. Look at the vision that they have down. It helps um, them see these heroes run to lane so they can set up before they even get there. Mm -hmm. So they can use that to try to pick some of these heroes off or perhaps start a fight on their terms. Like, if they can blow up the Dazzle before the fight begins with the oh, Sand King. Like Kyle is going to find the Sand King, and there he goes. Chessy. Very nice. Able to blow him up immediately. Yep, and that's all thanks to the wards. They had a ward in between the, the towers in the mid lane, so they saw him running down there. It's very nice. Yeah, it's a 5v4 right now. Sand King dead for another 40 seconds. Does have buyback here. Comes another X too. into the ward. Wukong's command as well. Big blood right coming out. That's a buyback on the Sand King, though. Have to keep that in mind if you're complexity. In fact, they might want to back up as it looks like Moo will fall first they for only complexity. Lose Moo is the yeah, super, this would be super huge. Good. They get a kill, they get a buyback, and they lose one hero. Definitely in favor of complexity and primal split down, so could potentially just turn this into another fight here pretty soon. Looks like the, the rupture is now applied though to the Ursa into an epicenter. That's gonna be an easy kill. So not exactly what complexity was looking for. Could have been a lot worse for sure. Yep. Still not that bad. You know, the game still goes on. They're probably going to lose this tier 2 tower mid. Since uh, Ursa and Darkshire are still dead. But for how awkward that was, they happen to find uh, all of VG under their tower. And now it comes to the buyback, and they just have to run away. So could have been way, way worse. And the tier 2 tower now falls. 5k lead for VG. Yep. As Ori and company are positioning themselves for high ground <sighs> offense here. What happened to Wukong's command in that fight? Did he have to leave the circle? I, I didn't uh, see it. I don't know. He definitely popped it, and then it didn't last very long. Yeah. They were definitely on the retreat. There's some damage being done to the tier 3. In fact, a lot. As Ori. Looks like Bloodseeker's gonna get 
Cyclone for now. Kyle, gonna take a blood right to the face, but Ori just continue to right click this tier three. Look at that split shot go to work. That is a tier three tower down. But Ursa is now online. We'll see how Vici Gaming responds to this. Still cheese available for Medusa. That's the location, or the pipe is actually there. My goodness, Zeefree gets blown up completely. They're gonna turn around though. Nice four staff onto Ori, keeping him safe. Well, Kyle's so low in the sun. Yeah, Lan M and company are able to clean him up with ease. That is a second kill. He's gonna buy back into the game though. Need the vacuum into the wall. Either way, it's a 45. A nice wall. Young 11 looking for a burrow strike. Not able to find it yet. Might apply it to Chessie here pretty soon. Chessie getting kited to a high degree. And this is going to be a free Rax for Vici. I think this is the right play for Complexity to let this go, as long as they don't lose anybody. Burrow Strike, though. This could be a dieback on the Kyle. He's not careful. The Yules is there. Primal Split pop. Looks like Vici Gaming is committing on this fight. Surfer Words are placed before Kyle drops to the deck. Blood Rite is there as well, but Enrage is going to keep Chessie alive for now. But this Vici Gaming light is just cleaning up Complexity. Triple kill for Paparazzi. And with that fight, you have to think that a second Rax is potentially there. Although, the tier two towers are online, so they might have to back up to that. Or they could go for tier three, tier four. Is they want to end this game. Yeah, they want to end this. There's three on the deck. God, this they know Rasta has no buyback. This game was so even up until that second Roshi. Like, if Complexity manages to take that, we still have an even game that probably go on for a really long time. Right. Paparazzi getting pretty low. There's not really any creeps to heal up on. His limp trying to defend this. Of course, if Complexity lose, they are out of this tournament. One tier four tower down, the next being pounded upon. Ursa up in 20 seconds. Efrix at the pop is Wukong's command. Last ditch effort here for Complexity is Limp getting completely focused. Boundless Strike is there. He's going to buy back on that PL. And the tier four tower still taking damage. Looks like Vici might want to fall back now as the earn applied to Paparazzi gets canceled right off the bat. Either way, that is, that is about an 11k net worth swing for Vici. Yep, they got in the last kills, two minutes. All the buildings and even buybacks as well. And they're just going to go back, collect their, they're going to put their gold to good use yep. and see what items they come up with. It's going to be Vlad's onto the Brewmaster, Ori. What's he working on now? Looks like a full Mjolnir, yep, not too far away. Whew. They couldn't even get through the cheese of Medusa. They threw so many spells at her, but yeah. it doesn't even matter. I thought the, the back wall looked really good, too. I was a little bit surprised it didn't do more damage. The first vacuum that came out was pretty good with the wall, but then you have to wait you got to wait like 32 seconds for the next one to come up. It's <laughs> an ultimate. Yeah, he has two ultimates. Yep. That's definitely the case. But uh, it did look good, right? Perhaps if some more heroes were alive and they could throw some more spells on top of it as it came out, like the Urso blinked in and clapped and slowed him in it. There's a bit more than it could have been a bit better, but... Yeah, for sure. Not enough. Well, Aegis, of course, not online anymore. Do they... They don't really need to wait for the... The third Aegis, of course, that'll drop not only cheese, but the Refresher Shard. Uh, we'll see how disciplined Vici is and how they want to approach this game. But in your opinion, can they just go down another lane at oh, this yeah. point? They can just sit behind the Medusa and do the exact same thing where she just sits there, hits the base. But of course, there's still the, uh, the Dazzle Shallow oh, Breakdown. This is going to be a big attempt here for Complexity onto the Medusa. Pops the cheese, though, and it's at full HP as a result, and full mana as well. Primal Split is popped Versus in addition. Back. And Ursa getting kited, just completely stone gate. Double kill for Ori and Paparazzi on top of that. Three dead for Complexity as Vici Gaming looking to finish this game in style. Looks like the PL is next, and the last remaining member of Complexity is Z Freak. And that'll be a complete team wipe, and nobody even harmed on the side of Vici Gaming. Yep, just a complete steamroll in that team fight. They're just way too far behind at this point in the game. GG's are called. Vici Gaming are now secured top four in captain's draft as Complexity will have to go home. Yep, won't play both teams. You know, the end of the game looked super one-sided, but honestly, if they were able to take the second Roche on the side of Complexity, yeah. this game would still be going. Yeah, I feel like the, the Roshans can't be underestimated. Vici, of course,